Our data has shown that uh, the Oklahoma Tax Commission has about 32,000 tax exempt certificates for 100% disabled veterans. Uh, working with the, U the Federal Veterans Administration, we can only identify 16,000 plus a few hundred more in Oklahoma that are actually 100% disabled. So that would indicate we either have a lot of certificates out there that have expired or we have some fraudulent use of, of uh, tax exempt certificates. So the goal of the bill was for uh, Oklahoma Tax Commission, which currently is prohibited from exchanging tax data with any outside agency, gives them a permission to share that data with the Oklahoma Department of Veterans Affairs for the sole purpose of verifying eligibility and developing a database in our veterans registry to show who is and is not actually a 100% disabled veteran so that we can help eliminate some of the fraud uh, that may be occurring in the program. What does that do to the program and to the state when someone fraudulently uses this benefit? Well, first of all, we're depriving uh, uh, the citizens of the tax revenue that would be generated by those who are illegally using a 100% sales tax exemption certificate and it diminishes the value of the program. It dishonors our veterans who are actually 100% disabled, have paid a tremendous price in serving our country and are disabled as a result of that. It shows disrespect and lack of regard for them.